everyone. So I came down here on my snowmobile after I got off of work tonight just to check on the cows. And sure enough, we had, a, had another calf. This guy here is our 10th calf of the year. Um, I haven't checked to see if it's a bull or a heifer yet, but I got a new, um, a new stand and a tripod for my camera. So I figured I'd be able to show you guys what I do to these calves when they're first born and why. Um, so I got all my stuff set up. I got all my stuff ready. And the first thing I do when I have a new calf is I, I tag them. So what this is, is just an ear tagger. And I just, I write the numbers on them with a marker. And it's pretty much just like piercing their ear. So you come in here in their ear and I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but there's almost like two veins. I don't know if they're veins or cartilage, but right here, that's, you want to place that, that tag right in between those two pieces of cartilage. So just right there, just like that. So we tag them just so we know which calves which and we can I don't, you know, identifying with the mom. So this, this cow behind us, number 35, this is her calf. It's usually pretty easy to tell them because they'll, they'll run up and, you know, get all up in your business and make sure the calves are okay. So I tag them and then I, I give them a, a dose of, so this is, uh, it's a coronavirus vaccine pretty much. So it's for, um, it's a, a vaccine for, for the scours so sometimes these calves will get um, a, disease, a disease called scours and that's it's pretty much like diarrhea and this here is just a vaccine to help prevent that i'm pretty sure it's caused by e coli from manure and um you know just filth and whatnot so i just give it i put it right here on top of their tongue and just shoot it down their down their throat and i rub it in and so that protects them against the scours and um, after I do that, uh, I give them, I give them a shot of, of a vaccine called Alpha CD. And so this is a vaccine for an over, a disease called overeating disease. So it's a, di it's a digestive disease. And I give them a shot of this and it's also immunity uh, booster. So this helps their immunity system get up and going. And I give them this shot right here in the neck. So I pull the skin out a bit. Just go right under the skin. Uh, Right there, and just two cc's of that. So after I give them that, then I've got a dose of, this is called Enforce 3, and this is a vaccine for pneumonia. So it helps these calves um, not get, demo, get uh, pneumonia. And it's just got a, a nozzle on the end, and it's a two, two cc dose. So I give them one cc into each nostril, and I just go down the nostril and give them one cc. So one cc and the second cc like i said that just helps prevent pneumonia and especially now that we're starting to warm up so we're it's march march 10th 11th something like that today and that that'll help just with when we get rainy and wet it just helps these calves not get pneumonia and then so after i get all that done um i have this betadine solution so it's just an iodine iodine um like uh it's pretty, pretty much a surgical scrub is what it is. So I do, I, I grab that, and I flip these calves over, and right here on their navel, like where the umbilical, let's see if I can pick them up. So right here on their navel, where the umbilical cord is, I just give them a dose of this, just to help that from getting infected. Just kind of squirt that on there and rub that in a bit. And that's about it. And so this guy is a this guy's a bull. So we're gonna band him right away. I've got my bander ready. So all this is is a we call it a green Cheerio. So it's just a green rubber band that stretches. And you just you just put it right on his boys. They usually fight you a bit. It's okay, give it. Hold on. So you just reach in here. And get get the sack here and you make sure you get both the nuts in there you pull that through and band it just before you pull that band off make sure you got both the nuts in there so i don't know if you can see or not but i got both the nuts in there 
and that band just comes right off and that'll cut off the circulation to their to their nuts so so this guy is officially now a steer well he will be once his nuts fall off but that just keeps them from becoming bulls and that cuts off the test they don't ever get the testosterone so he's done yeah he is done then like I'll, I'll go through and I'll mark, I'll make sure I write down his number. I usually write it in my phone, but since the, phone, the phone's there, I'll have to just remember. So calf number 10, and like I said, the mom's number 35 there. And I usually write down a description. So this calf's a, a black baldy faced steer, and the mom's a black broccoli faced cow. And I guess I'll just remember their number and remember the calf's number. So then if anything happens, I can always pair up the calf with the mom. And then just helps us in you know documentation and knowing what's what. So this guy's done. So we'll push him out of the feeder here and onto his mom. All right, kitty, let's go. Out we go. All right, so like I said, he's done. Calf num number 10, and mama number 35 there. And he's doing good. His mouth was nice and warm, and I just found him here behind the feeder. He was just laying in the hay, mm -hmm. taking a nap. So um, I always love when I find these calves and their mouths are warm, then you know that they got that first, um, first nursing a colostrum. Because that getting that colostrum right off from the mom is super important because it's got all the like the immunity and the, all these all these uh, things that these calves need. So it's a good thing that he's looks like he's gotten that from the mom. Mm. So we'll leave these two alone and just finish our our rounds tonight. I don't I don't know that we have any other new calves. I didn't see any, but I'll I'll run through these willows real quick and just double check. Mm. There they go. Probably gonna run off into the willows. She's probably wants to, she's probably wanting to go hide him. Like I said, once you once you grab these calves from them, seems like the next time, or once they get the chance, they like to go hide them from you. So we got a couple more calves wandering around through here. Been a pretty nice day today. Not not super warm. It was it was about uh, I believe about five degrees this morning, but it warmed up a bit. I bet we got to the mid 30s today. Things are starting to melt and starting to get a little bit more wet. Starting to get a little few a few puddles every you know in a few places. Like I said, it's a nice day. So we're gonna hop on our hop on our snowmobile and. Head on home. I didn't find any more new calves. Just that, just that one that we we got done with. So let's head on home. Just want to show you real quick. The cows are enjoying their straw. We got one calf in there. I'm sure they like that quite a bit. It's a nice place for them to lay down. Oh, we got a couple calves in there. There's one behind there. There's our snow and bill. There's another calf. There's number calf number eight. So he's the one that I got. I got yesterday. That was one of the new calves that we had while we were on vacation. And calf number six it looks like is behind him. And there's the, there's our big steer. Just taking up all the room. Luckily, I was able to get the dogs to wait for me there by the gate. So they're over there waiting. Because I don't, I don't like bringing the dogs out here um, if, I'm not, if I'm not in that tractor. Because having them dogs around these cows with these new calves, it just turns into a... Just they, them cows get on a fight. They just, those dogs just make them super aggressive. So I just like to leave them behind if I'm not in that tractor. So let's get on heading home.
get our stop real quick here at the slough and show you what it's looking like now. Um, in, the, in the last three or four days, it's really opened up and we got water flowing through here again. If you remember in one of my last videos uh, with Fred, when Fred came down here and plowed us out, this is where I said he about slid off. Like I said, this would have been a bad place to slide off in because this is pretty, it's, it's fairly deep here five six feet i guess it shallows out quite a bit up there but there's a pretty good hole right here that's deep it's a good fishing hole right here too catch catch quite a few fish in here right, right off this bridge and there's our house right there but you can see how thick the the ice and the snowpack was up on the slough this winter Dogs had a good run. Looking on this side, I think they're starting to cave off and get in the river. That, there's a pretty big chunk right there that broke off. Pretty tonight. What do you think, dogs? You have a good run, Isa? Was that a good run? That was good, huh? Piper, what do you think? She's just waiting for the snowmobile to start again. Yeah, she loves the snowmobile. Let's go home.